As the largest deployment of Oklahoma Army National Guard soldiers since the Korean War comes to an end, many programs and resources have been made available to the returning troops to help with the readjustment back into their civilian lives. One service is the new Employment Coordination Program, an Oklahoma National Guard initiative that opened on January 1st to assist unemployed or underemployed service members. Lieutenant Colonel Warren Griffiths heads up the ECP and says the program is important because veterans are more likely to face unemployment than their civilian counterparts. The nation's average is running around 9%. Veterans unemployment is somewhere around 20% in some reports. And what I'm finding here with our Oklahoma Guard members that have, who have come through, running 35 to 40 percent, so even higher than the typical veteran. Along with having an office in Oklahoma City where soldiers can seek assistance, Lieutenant Colonel Griffiths also briefs returning troops on this program during their demobilization at Camp Shelby, Mississippi. He says since military leave time ends shortly after coming off active duty, it's important to catch these soldiers as they return from a deployment so they're able to focus on reuniting with their loved ones instead of worrying about searching for a job. If we waited to, uh, for a yellow ribbon, say a 30-day yellow ribbon, well, if they don't have a job, they're already going to be in a bind at that time. Um, if we wait for a 60-day yellow ribbon, you know, it's, it's the same, if not worse, situation. So trying to get to them when they get here, I'm sure they've been thinking about it months in advance, but this gives them something of, for confidence and some hope. His presentation at the DMOB site includes detailed information on this new service and identifies potential Oklahoma employers seeking to employ veterans. It's to link that person with a potential employer who has job or career opportunities that match the skill sets and, and make that connection and make that link. Because we, wanna, we want to have a continued ongoing partnership with all the employers that will partner with us uh, because we see that this is this program is going to continue on. During the briefing soldiers also complete a survey that includes information such as their city of residence, employment status, what skill sets they possess, and several other items in order to help identifying jobs that they may be qualified to apply for. According to Lieutenant Colonel Griffiths, the program isn't a job placement agency. Instead, it provides services such as resume preparation and assists Guard members on making connections with potential employers. He said one goal of the ECP is to try to get the service member an interview rather than just dropping off a resume. A website for the program will be available soon, but for now, those seeking more information on the program can visit the ECP's Facebook page or by calling Lieutenant Colonel Griffiths at 405-475-1977. From Camp Shelby, Mississippi, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Larissa Copeland. If we waited to, uh, for a yellow ribbon, say a 30-day yellow ribbon, well, if they don't have a job, they're already going to be in a bind at that time. Um, if we wait for a 60-day yellow ribbon, you know, it's it's the same, if not worse, situation. So trying to get to them when they get here, I'm sure they've been thinking about it months in advance, but this gives them something of, for confidence and some hope that it's, it's, it's actively showing that the leadership cares. Um, our National Guard members just by virtue of their experience in, in becoming a soldier or an airman, going to their drills, an annual training, a school, or a mobilization, things that we take for granted as just doing our daily course of business. Many companies look to train people to do that. Uh, being safety conscious, being accountable for equipment, and if we stop and think about how much equipment and the type of equipment that we have to care for constantly, even though it seems second nature to us wearing the uniform, those kinds of things, um, they have to be developed. And companies are looking for people like that. Also, 
the leadership traits in planning small tasks uh, with a squad, a section to accomplish a mission, uh, the teamwork, learning how to work together, that, that kind of stuff employers desire. What, what I see on average, you know, it's, it's over double of the, of the nation's average of unemployment for veterans. So the nation's average is running around 9%. Veterans unemployment is somewhere around 20 percent in some reports and what I'm finding here with our Oklahoma Guard members that have, who have come through running 35 to 40 percent so even higher than the typical veteran. It should be accessible. And that's that. Who else doesn't have probably as much, if not more, for this full time <coughs> job than a lot of full time companies? One thing I like about the Thunder is it brings the. Uh, okay. We'll we'll engage them. Representatives. <coughs> and these folks are supposed to just safeguard company equipment to be safety. I'm going to go back to the CIC, the Oklahoma Employment Security Service. <coughs> and maybe your lives, that's, thank you. All military personnel, past and present, in Oklahoma. One thing I like about the Thunder is it brings the uh, Oklahoma. And I'll do the best I can to know if you had a job for somebody. Go to the next one. If there are 3,000 needs, I want to be able to a high number of unemployed coming back. He didn't recognize my telephone number. Employer representative. <coughs> and these folks are, they need to understand that and they need to help. That's, thank you. I need diapers and deep. Now, unless you don't like. Lab just across the hall from my office that we'll have access to if 